mass concrete what is the mass concrete what are the properties of mass concrete strength of the mass concrete mixed designs permeability durability of mass concrete all those and much more will be discussed today i am prasad from structural guide please subscribe our youtube channel you may get the notification on new videos what is the mass concrete as this the name imply the mass concrete is kind of a concrete that has a large volume it does not usually contain the reinforcement it is kind of concrete that is poured and compacted by different means and placed in the structures mostly mass concrete structures are gravity structures usually we don't provide the reinforcement but we sometimes provide the reinforcement in special locations properties of mass concrete strength of the mass concrete mix design thermal effects permeability of concrete durability we are going to discuss today let's discuss each of these properties in detail strength of the mass concrete the structures used for the mass concrete does not require very high strength that is because they are very large structures usually or else the structure that does not have a very high stresses we use the mass concrete for example concrete curbs you place along the road that does not have any load we consider mass concrete we don't provide the reinforcement Mass concrete uh, structures are relatively very large. Therefore, most of the time, low concrete grade can be used. But we have to make sure not to develop tensile stresses due to the applied loads on these structures. However, there are certain levels of tensile stresses that could be allowed to develop, as the concrete can carry certain tensile stress. in general the tensile stress that can carry by the concrete is around 10% of its compressive stress therefore that we could recommend it in structures but usually we don't do that because there are risk of cracking of the concrete especially in the water retaining structures like dams you build when you build the dam with mass concrete you avoid the room for the cracking cause crack could affect durability water leakages leakage that permeability issues etc therefore we have to attend on that and also in summary mass concrete is low strength type concrete mass concrete mix design we consider low strength requirement in the mass concrete low cement content is used because of that Development of the compressive strength will be in the range of 50 to 60 to 90 90 days. That is because we don't want to have a high strength gain very fast. The, the construction of these structures takes some time. Therefore, getting delay achieving its cubic strength or the characteristic strength is not an issue. We use additives such as ground granular blast furnace slags. GGB if fly ash to reduce the cement content and to reduce the heat of hydration shrinkage defects and the construction sequence and setting time requirement need to be considered in the mix design thermal effects since we are using the low cement content due to the low concrete characteristic strength the thermal effects are less when compared to the other type of concrete however when you use very large concrete there will be issues we use cement replacement such as fly ash and the ggbs to minimize the temperature rise the rise of the core temperature could be limited or could be maintained in the range of 70 to 75 celsius otherwise there will be possibility of formation of delayed drain dry Delay in etching guide causes the cracking of the concrete because delayed formation of the delayed etching guide increases the internal volume of the concrete. Therefore, we have to maintain the core temperature 
at these levels to make sure there are no late cracking or late internal cracking in the concrete. Temperature difference between core and the surface shall be limited or shall be maintained within the range of 20 to 25 Celsius. Carrying out mock-up test to make sure these limits are achieved. If you do a mock-up, you know what the core temperature will be and what the temperature difference and the temperature gradient. All this will be known with the mock-up test. If you have done mock-up test, you can do the construction smoothly without an issue. Cooling aggregate, adding chill water, concentrating con concreting at the night time are some of the steps or some of the precautions that could be taken to reduce the temperature rise of the concrete. Permeability of the concrete. It is very important in the water retaining structures like dams because if concrete is permeable, there are issues in leaking of the water. Adjust the water cement ratio while being in line with the mixed design requirement. Carrying out adequate compaction of the concrete will minimize the permeability of the concrete or reduce the permeability of the concrete. Adequate curing also have a significant effect on the permeability of the concrete. Now, for example, if the, the concrete is made or cement paste is made by the hydration reaction of the cement and water, if there are no adequate water to react with the cement, the process will be incomplete. In such a case, the low strength, low porous, high porous, or permeable or weak concrete will be developed. Therefore, we have to do the adequate curing, correct curing method need to be used depending on the type of the concrete. Properties of the cements also need to be considered when you design, when you consider the mixed designs. Use of the atomicious also have a certain impact on the reducing the permeability. And also we have to consider suitable type of aggregate to reduce the permeability of the concrete. Use of the mass concrete. Uses of the mass of mass concrete in dam construction, retaining wall construction, road constructions. You have seen in the figure, as you can see in this figure, very large dams can be constructed with the mass concrete. Wherever you need and you have to take the tensile stresses, you may provide the reinforcement. Close to the spillways of these kind of dams, we provide the reinforcements. Reinforcements. Other areas we know we may not be for the reinforcement, but the structure itself act as its own to maintain the stability. Even for the retaining walls, cavity retaining walls, we may use the mass concrete. Road construction we have seen mostly they are constructed with the mass concrete. If we have a good ground condition, we can lay the concrete on the soil and we may have a concrete road without reinforcement. Issues with the mass concrete. Four problems. Crack problems. Crack problem is the main concern in the mass concrete. We have to control the heat of hydration and also sinkage effects, drying sinkage, all those need to be considered. During the design, the designer shall consider all those facts into the intake shall take into the account when they when he is doing the design in addition we have to consider the effect of the mixed design on the concrete mix we have to do the mixed design taking into account those all those facts otherwise there will be issues such as cracking permeability issues durability issues the concrete Requirement of large volume of the concrete to maintain the stability of the structure. Since we are not providing reinforcement, since it is a gravity structure, we have to pour large volume of concrete. Durability issues, as we discussed, we have to make sure there are no or there are less durability issues in the structure. Reduction in the strength. As concrete is less, initially also it has less strength because we don't want to have such a very high strength in the mass, coat, mass concrete structures as they are gravity structures. With that, we end the today discussion. We discuss about the mass concrete, what is mass concrete, what are the properties of the mass concrete, 
what are the special things related to the properties of the macro group and what we need to concentrate in constructing structures with max concrete so let's meet again from new video thank you very much